In this video, we are going to tell you the history of the radiation warning sign, one of the most familiar and scary symbols in the world. In the middle of the 1940s, as the nuclear program developed, concern grew among scientists about how dangerous radiation could be to the human body. Prior to the adoption of the radiation symbol, nuclear facilities in the United States lacked a standard approach for alerting workers to elevated levels of radiation. Los Alamos Scientific Laboratory, New Mexico, and Oak Ridge National Laboratory, Tennessee, employed a danger sign marked Radiation Hazard, with red and black lettering on a white background. Hanford Engineer Works in Washington used an octagonal metal sign marked Radiation Danger Zone, Keep Out, in red letters on a white background. While Brookhaven National Laboratory lacked any method for alerting to the presence of radiation at all, as was stated in a letter sent in 1948 from the laboratory to the University of California, in setting up our radiation safety program, we have been impressed with the desirability of using a standard color, and perhaps a symbol as well, to mark all radiation hazards. There is sentiment in favor of orange. Shipping labels for radioactive material typically featured a skull and crossbones, a symbol widely associated with poison. However, Unlike poison, radioactive material can present an external hazard as well. For this reason, the skull and crossbones were replaced later by a cloud emitting lightning bolts. The radiation warning sign first appeared in the University of California Radiation Laboratory, UCRL, Berkeley, in late 1946, which is known today as Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory. Originally, the sign was used only for internal purposes. The laboratory was producing a fair amount of hazardous radioactive waste, which was stored temporarily in garbage cans beside the laboratory building. As it turned out, some unsuspecting workers used them for seating. So a UCRL health chemistry group led by Nelson Garden came to an idea to use a special color to indicate the presence of radioactivity. After checking national safety codes, the group settled on robin's egg blue as a color not in use for the most areas where radioactive materials were handled. All atomic waste containers were spray-painted robin's egg blue, but it turned out to cause confusion. Workers sat on the hazardous containers even more often than before because the color was so restful and inviting. Then the group came up with an idea to design a stencil that could be quickly placed atop the painted containers as a warning sign. Garden set out to bring in the best representations of hazard and type of activity while being simple in its design. Via a succession of more than a dozen discards of freehand sketches, John Gifford, John Davis, and Bill Rule came up with a sign that was approved by Garden, the three-legged cross which represented activity radiating from an atom. The dot in the middle signified a point source of radiation. The three arms pointing outward signified radiation beams shining outward in all directions. And the position of standing on one leg signified instability. Thus, the graphic representation of radiation was born. Then, a color of the sign was chosen. Garden decided to use magenta because it was distinctive and did not conflict with any other color used in the laboratory while its high cost would deter others from using this color promiscuously. So all of the robin's egg blue hot waste containers were stenciled with the three-legged magenta cross. The result was immediate. Even total strangers noticed the new symbol and asked, is that dangerous? Later on, the background color was discussed. The majority of the group thought that magenta superimposed on robin's egg blue did not provide enough contrast and tended to fade, especially out in the open. Moreover, it was not associated with danger, so yellow was suggested. But Garden turned it down. He thought that the wide use of yellow made it less noticeable and reduced the required sense of danger, whereas the robin's egg blue would attract much more attention. To make the sign more recognizable, he even suggested striping the background with white diagonal lines. In 1948, the Naval Radiation Laboratory in Berkeley, California, sent these radiation warning signs to Oak Ridge National Laboratory. Although acceptable in most respects, the colors were perceived to lack contrast. 
To improve the sign, example tags were produced by stapling magenta trefoils onto cards of different colors. After viewing the tags at distances of about 7 meters, a committee selected magenta on yellow as the preferred combination. Moreover, yellow was widely recognized to indicate caution. By 1953, when magenta on a yellow background was specified for radiation warning signs by the American Standards Association, most facilities had already adopted them for extensive use. Nevertheless, UCRL, where the sign had been designed, continued to use a blue background up to the 1960s. Until a standard was produced, the sign was painted in a variety of shapes, in different proportions, sometimes with arrows around the sign or between its legs. It was first documented as an international symbol in 1963 in a recommendation from the International Organization for Standardization. In 1974, after approval by national standards bodies, the symbol became an international standard as ISO 361, Basic Ionizing Radiation Symbol. The standard specifies the purpose, application, shape, color, proportions, manufacturing requirements, and restrictions on the use of the symbol. It may be used to signify the actual or potential presence of ionizing radiation. The standard finally defined the shape of the sign. It also allowed black as a color of the trefoil, but magenta against a yellow background is still widely used in the United States. Even though the sign is used all around the world, in countries with less educated populations, many confused it with an air screw or a road sign. This erroneous interpretation sometimes resulted in deaths because of radiation exposure. So in 2007, the IAEA and the International Organization for Standardization jointly announced the adoption of a new ionizing radiation warning symbol to supplement the traditional trefoil symbol. It depicts, on a red triangle, an original black trefoil with waves of radiation streaming from it, along with a black skull and crossbones and a running human figure. The IAEA believes the new sign will be accepted and applied by governments and private companies to reduce deaths and injuries from accidental exposure to radioactive sources. It is the result of a five-year project conducted in 11 countries around the world. The sign was tested with different population groups, mixed ages, varying in educational backgrounds, etc., to ensure that its message of danger, stay away, was crystal clear and understood by all. This is the story of how the radiation warning sign, which first appeared in the University of California Radiation Laboratory and was originally used for internal purposes, evolved over the years. As nuclear technologies developed, its use became widespread across the United States and then all around the world. The sign is still at the service of humanity, warning people of invisible danger.